Hello everyone. We are getting close to the end of the month and I wanted to share a flip through of the pages from my creativity journal that I worked on this year. And I also uh, wanted to share this old um, planner that I found as I was sorting through some documents. It's from 2019. I did not use it in 2020. But the reason why I'm sharing it is because this is, uh, as I was looking at it, I realized that this is one of the places where the idea for this journal started to germinate. So I was using this one as a way to keep track of my card pulls when I was pulling cards daily for myself. And then here on the on this little notes section, I would write keywords for symbols that were coming up for me. And this this keeping track of the images and symbols that were coming up for me was one of the reasons why I created the booklet that um, this workbook or journal used to be in its first version. So um, I was really happy to find this one and just see how I was using it last year. I also used to draw just some doodles here. Um, and I used it throughout the year. Can you even see it? Throughout the year in 2019. Uh, it was nice and portable, or at least maybe till July. Let's see, did I go back to it? Um, I went back to it in October. Uh, I did not use it in 2020. Um, I believe I've moved into a different journal, but I liked how portable this was. I would just throw it in my purse and I could um, have it with me. Uh, sometimes I used to have apps on my phone that were like a tarot deck. And if I did not get to pull a card during the morning with an actual physical tarot deck, then I would just use the phone. But anyway, just sharing that. All right, so for this month, I um, started the journal. I pasted uh, this paper here, which has the full moon dates and the name of the moon, um, the time, and also the time. The time is in Easter Central. And as I was finishing that, I was like, why didn't I change it to Central Time, which is what I need. Let's see. So I just doodled a few things. Uh, last a few months ago, I started drawing these like interconnected circles, and it's an, a mark that I just love, so I'm drawing it all over the place. So I have here my intentions for my creative journal for my year. So it says that I intend to continue nurturing my creativity, curiosity, imagination through writing, art making, learning and sharing what I learn and sharing my experience. So I have plans to continue with my newsletter, making videos on my YouTube channel. And then I say I want to fine tune my, fine tune and sharpen my focus <clears throat> rather than going very broad. Um, I want to have more depth in my explorations. And then this year, I also want to continue my awareness, attention, and relationship with the spiritual world and develop relationships with the spirits around me. So for my creative vision page, instead of doing a collage, um, I decided to draw a flower and use a quote that came to me from a poet that I uh, love that has always been like a guide for me as well. Um, it's a, po a quote by the poet Rainier Maria Rioca, and I'll read it for you guys. I wrote it here on the, like a, it's a spiral. I live my life in wandering circles that reach out and across the world. I may not complete this last one, but I will give myself to it. I circle around God, around the primordial tower. I've been circling for thousands of years and still don't know. Am I a falcon, falcon, a storm, or a great song? And it's by Rainier Maria Rioca. And this quote, I heard it in a podcast um, where I was listening to an interview 
of Joanna Macy. It was the On Being podcast. And Joanna Macy is a well-known leader in the spiritual ecology field. And she also translated the book uh, Letters to a Young Poet by Maria Rioja. By Rainier Maria Rioja. I don't know if the correct way to say the full name. But I haven't read her translation. The, the version that I read of that book was by a different author. So that's something that I want to do this year. Let's see. So I have a letter for myself um, here. I, I'm giving myself some time for the self-portrait. I might just take a picture of me and paste it in here. I wrote my fabulous list for when I feel stuck. And I doodled some things here. So I have things I could do. Drink a nice cup of tea. Call a friend. Journal about it. Pull some cards feel into it, look out the window, and spend time in nature. Then this page is just kind of like a map in case you don't know how to create a sacred space or a ritual. I just have like the um, things that I would add. And this can be like a guide for you, just a reminder of what you need. I think this page itself can be like the sacred space. So I, I drew some things um, here that correspond to the different things I list there. So as I mentioned in the flip through video of the journal, the journal starts with the new moon um, phonology wheel and you can set your intention here in the space and then just use the wheel to write down keywords or signs, symbols that are popping up for you. I try to draw if I can, if there's like a uh, pictorial way to show how I'm feeling, I'll draw and then I'll do my note, um, notes and observations and reflections on this side. Um, interestingly, just because of how the moon cycle falls, it starts for me with the third quarter moon, if I'm following like the Gregorian calendar. So the, um, actually this is not always the case because in February, the third quarter moon is in February uh, and not in January. So this full moon cycle fell nicely in January, but that's not always the case. So then I have still to do this page, um, the Capricorn season spread by the Oracle portal. I find that I just need more time to really sit down and pull the cards. So that might be something that I do, although we already moved into Aquarius season, but this um, questions are always relevant. So I'll come back to that. Then here is my monthly communion with the muse, card pool. Um, I needed more space, so I pasted another sheet here. And this year, or this month, I guess, what I was tracking in my journal was to, I wanted, I set the intention to move slowly into the new year. And so I was tracking just how I was moving into the new year. And I have um, a reflection that I want to share about that because I've been reading a few different authors and people I follow online, how um, their January has been turning out and the pressure that sometimes we put on a new year to for us to like change our life completely. Um, so I want to do a reflection on that. Anyway, so I just wrote down notes on things that were happening like January 1st, it was New Year's Day. We had family over. We played Loteria. But it was part two because we played Loteria the day before. Um, then I had to work and I did journals. So I just wrote little notes to remind me. Um, I wanted to track my Substack and YouTube uploads, but I did not do that. Um, there's this whole chunk of week where I got into the game Animal Crossing. And I have been playing that game... Um, not as much as I was on these days, but uh, it has been a nice little distraction and um, way to rest my mind. Then here I uh, worked with Peter Side and Iolite, two of my favorite crystals. My plant ally for this month is cinnamon. My animal allies was bear because it was one of the animals in my card from the communion with the muse. Then deer, because there were deer in our front yard the other day, and a coyote, because we've had a coyote 
that has been stalking the deer um, in our yard. Uh, in my Temple of the Imaginal page, I kept track of synchronicities as well as dreams that I had. So for example, um, I talk about the bear, how I pulled the card um, with the bear, bear image, and then we started watching the show, The Bear, <laughs> on um, TV, then some dreams. So this is the weekly check-in pages. I wrote down something I was grateful for this week, plans to nurture my creativity, and then things that I wanted to learn about. Um, then there's the space for thinking, for notes, ideas, and observations. So in the beginning of January, I was really interested in learning a coding language. So I wrote down that I wanted to learn coding and AI, and in the future I want to work for, uh, work in the field of technology. Um, I was also interested in, in photography. Uh, in this page, I was writing down the things I was reading. So I started reading the book, The White Goddess. I was reading the Substack newsletters. I was watching planner videos and videos on minimalism. We started watching How I Met Your Mother, which is a show that I love and I watch maybe once a year. Um, I was listening to the book Notes on Complexity and also the Rune Soup podcast. And this week I didn't paste a notes um, page, but in later weeks I ended up adding an, a little page for me to reflect on the week. So similarly here, just writing down what I'm grateful for, what I plan to do to nurture my creativity. Usually it's writing, reading. Um, here I was working on my journal showing up to write and record the videos I want to share and pacing myself and not to not overwhelm myself. Um, this week, the second week in January, uh, I wanted to make scenes with my daughters, uh, decorate my journal. I was curious about myth and storytelling, how to make better YouTube videos and other paper crafts. Then here I have, I'm wondering if I should call myself unearthing the gift press because I was watching videos on develop, on creating a stationary business. Uh, let's see, ideas, to-do list. I find that this uh, part of the journal is kind of hard to see. So I didn't use it here and it's kind of hard to read uh, in this page. Um, but I just write a, a thought, I guess, thinking about the good part of using the same thing over and over and how that leads to wanting less things or buying less things, valuing things more and buying less. Anyway, so that's just something that I'm reflecting on. That this writing in this one dotted box is hard to read. And then I have keep your possessions light, don't let them possess you. Um, so as I mentioned, I really miss having a page to reflect on the week. So I have been pasting uh, this sheet that I got at the Dollar Tree, um, a pack of notes that looks like this. So then I just doodle uh, and I add stickers. And um, I do this on Monday mornings usually thankful for my home. I'm still thinking about making signs. And then I kind of fell off the wagon in my writing habits. So I wanted to get back into writing, reading, taking notes, playing Animal Crossing. So I've been switching out what I do in this boxes. Sometimes I'll list what I have been reading. Sometimes I'll make myself a to-do list and then I'll just write like little reflections. This was last week. And um, I put in some stickers. Um, I wrote a lot more this last week. This week felt like three weeks in one week, which was really intense. Uh, let's see, now we're getting to the end. This is my creative interpretation and end of the month reflection, which I uh, still have to write, but I just pasted some collage paper and doodled my circles that I love. And now um, on Thursday, we're starting the new month and the third quarter moon falls in February. So this is where I'll start 
looking at the moon cycle. Then the new moon will be February 9th or 10th. I found conflicting information online. But um, I also started just adding some things. I have my sticky notes. And because this week is kind of straddling the two months, I, I moved into the February pages for the week. And I wrote and added some things. So that is how I am working with the journal. So far, the only thing I miss from the old journal is the additional page to reflect on the week. But I am liking how every week I have this main, like, key things to think about. What I'm grateful for, how I'm nurturing my creativity, and what I'm curious about. And then a little space for writing ideas and observations. And then if you ever want more paper, you could do something like I did, which is to include more pages and use washi tape to get them to stay i think in the future i might just add additional pages in the back or just add more places to write but so far um, i am enjoying the new format and if you're interested in getting a journal like this you can buy the paperback version on lulu and i will add a link for that the um, spiral bound versions are sold out but the paperback editions are also very nice so thank you for watching